fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 14th of September 2025. Hope you are keeping well. Uh, Huskies are well known to be uh, energetic dogs that can pull sleds and uh, people on them and stuff like that. And you, cats are well known to be the laziest creatures on the planet and they do nothing really, uh, certainly not pulling things along. <laughs> so I was quite surprised to see this at the market uh, a woman who um, takes her cat to the market but it seems to be afraid that it's going to run away uh, kind of uh, puts it on a leash <laughs> a long leash to allow it to wander around close up to where she works but this one seems to have been making an escape uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, how far it got um, it was raining it just stopped raining I mean uh, and the roads are a bit wet so I think he was just kind of maybe looking for a slightly drier area or something like that anyway there's an unusual sight from Bangkok for you. And if you've never seen a cat pulling a sled before, well, how about a broken chair in <laughs> as a, uh, in, in its stead? All right, uh, let's go on with the game of Sudoku. Oh, no, I can't. I've got to tell you something that's happened in Nepal. Uh, they have a new prime minister, woman prime minister. Well done, Nepal. Let's hope she's uh, more successful at beating corruption, which apparently was the real motivation behind the protests recently. I mean... Uh, uh, the thing that sparked them was something that I mentioned a couple of weeks ago about the banning of social media. Uh, but apparently Gen Z, as they like to be called, or maybe they don't like to be called, uh, decided um, let's have a riot. And uh, people actually died. Um, severe riots there were in Nepal, but uh, they seem to have calmed down now. But apparently it wasn't just uh, the... Uh, the um, uh, social media ban was really just a catalyst, but actually it's the corruption that they have, are fighting against. So let's hope that Nepal can beat back some of its uh, corrupt practices. All right, now let's get on with the game of Sudoku then. This is the, uh, what is it, Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. And uh, how am I doing? Well, I've got to watch the clock. Yeah, I'm okay on time for the moment. Let's see, we've got threes blocking that. I do have to work on Sunday evenings. Um... Well, I see four blocking this square, four blocking this square, and this four taking care of all those fours. So that's going to give me a four here. Nine going upwards and across there, but, 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 we're not finished because nine across here and nine down here puts nine into one of those two squares, which means that can't be nine. So that's our nine there, then nine across, ooh, sorry, try to go in a straight line, please. Across there and up there will give us nine there. This will be my last game for the weekend and this week. I'll see you again next weekend. Um, again, once again, thanks to all those people who are clicking on the old videos and seeing what I sounded like <coughs> a few years ago. Much the same, I guess. Although my Sudoku skill is probably a bit better nowadays, although I'm kind of out of practice when I play these games at the end of the week sometimes. Nine is out of the way now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you, digit nine. Let's deselect it so it doesn't distract. Four blocks across here and down there. Uh, so this is a pair of two and four. Why is it? Because two and four in this block here and two blocks this square and four blocks the same square. So that must be two and four in those squares. <coughs> So then we have six down here, six down here, six across there. There is our six. Once again, this is two and four. So these are not two or four. They are one, five, eight in those squares there. One, five, eight. We've got a one blocking there. Hmm. Not sure about the eights yet. Is that the only eight on the board? I think it is actually, yeah. Okay, so eight could be a tricky number for us. 
or more precisely me. Seven blocks across here, across there and down there. That will give me a seven in that square. and 8 both attack this square we're missing 1, 5 and 8 in this block so that's got to be our 1 1 blocks across here so 1 is in one of these squares blocking back 1 down there, there's our 1 we know that this is 2 and 4 so we know that this is now 5 and 8 we've got 5 and 8 there so that seems to uh, match up uh, so this is not 5 or 8 it must be one and two and so this is not one or two this is our eight Let's see where we are. is done don't need nine
There's got to be a pair that I'm missing somewhere. Well, this weekend my games have not been particularly uh, inspiring uh, in my play. Uh, I haven't seen anything uh, very deep. Um, just can't seem to get into it to um, see what's going on without pencil marks. All right, let's point some pencil marks and finish the game off because it's taking too long. Fives and eights go there. One and two goes there. Two and four goes there. All right, ones are a pair in those squares. There, ones are a pair up there. Um, <coughs> what else? Twos are a pair there and there. Threes are in one of those three squares up there. There are also a pair there. And there. Oh, that's a pair of one and three. <sighs> Missed it again. Just not really, not really catching stuff. Oh, excuse me. Not really catching stuff. What am I doing? I'm trying to get rid of the two in that square there and place the two there. That's what I'm trying to do. Just not catching stuff this weekend. Uh, one three and anything down here that we can deal with so four five seven eight in those squares no there's not much anyway Okay, fours are there and they must be in one of those two squares there and those squares there. Okay, so five heading to the top and we know that this has to be a one or a three so that means that fives are in one of those two squares there. Uh, which means they must be in those squares there as well because they can't be here, right? They've got to be in those squares so that's a pair of two and five now then. And that means that I can say what goes here, what goes there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six it is. Let's put our six in. And that will give us sixes blocking across, across, up here like that. So that's a pair of sixes in those squares. Although I'm going out of order a little bit. Let's come back at this block here. One, two, three, four, five. So six blocks up here. That must be our six. That must be our one. This must be our eight. So there's our eight, there's our five, there's our eight, there's our five. Five blocking up here puts a pair of fives into those squares. Just so. Uh, let's have a look at our stuff again. So we got ones in those squares. So because of the one blocking here and here, that means in that column, that is our one. So there's the one, there's the three. This can't be a three now. Uh, one blocking across here, across here, and up there. It gives me a one in that square. So here's our four. There's our four. That's not a four. Uh, okay, can't quite finish them. Oh. Excuse me. Uh, 
seven blocks up here so we get a pair of sevens in those oh this is a five isn't it okay and then we've got sevens in those two squares there we get rid of that five okay and now actually we've got seven blocking here so that must be our seven this is our three and that's our three there and this is not okay three and nine are completed digits missing down here seven is one of our missing numbers seven blocks across there that will give me seven here five is the last number for the column so you can't be a five you must be a five and so must you and you must be a two and you can't be a five no matter how hard you try so now we've got fives in those squares oh, I need to put in these candidates but anyway uh, let's see two and let's see where we are one two two blocks excuse me <laughs> try and turn there Let me just turn the sound off from my telephone. From as you can hear, it's a very strange sound on that phone. One phone I have has a very nice sound on it. That one has that horrible noise. But anyway, uh, right, that's done. Where am I? I was doing something about seven, seven uh, blocks up here like this. So that's a pair of sevens in those squares, which means that that must be our six. I'll get rid of the six there and place the six there and then we'll get the eight in that square there so eight blocks across and up there so that's our eight there's our five missing number here is seven seven there five there all right it's all looking pretty easy now uh let's see let's click on a one no still don't know about ones two um, two blocks across here like this so two is in one of those squares so this can't be two that's our two that's our one one blocks up here that's our one and this is not uh, one is finished how are we doing on twos can't finish yet what else do I need need fours can't do those six that'll do six across there and across there there is our six that's finished seven then seven across this way and this way there's our seven uh, we just need an eight to complete this row and the missing number here is two and so two across there gives us two there two four four there eight will finish the game so that's our los angeles times expert level puzzle over for sunday take care i'll see you uh, next weekend uh, when i'll be back with some more sudoku and uh, in the middle of october I should probably be back with daily games. It's gonna. I'm, I'm working until the uh, 15th or 16th, I think it is, and then I should be back to uh, having nothing much to do, I guess, until next year. Okay, take care. Bye bye.